What's up guys, Alex here back with another tutorial for this week and of course as you saw in the example video I showed you before it's going to be a simple sliding transition with a little motion blur applied to those uh, effects. So as you saw in the video example we have two parts of a video clip that come in from opposite sides and of course you're having a little uh, motion blur effect applied to both of those and once those two parts come in it's going to seamlessly transition into the next video clip. So the transition to start off with is one second long. So what you want to do is have your second video clip ready on the timeline and we're going to go ahead and go forward one second and make a cut. So select the video and press S and we have our little section that we're going to use for the actual effects. So you want to click on this little video clip and press U on your keyboard to separate the audio from the video and we're just going to delete the audio because we don't need it for the transition. And we're going to go ahead and create two new video tracks and since the effect is one second long the entire one second is not the actual effect. The effect only lasts about uh, 20, 20 frames so drag the a little section of the video clip over 20 frames of the first clip and you have 20 seconds of videos overlapping each other and uh, 10 seconds or actually 10 frames of the video clip over nothing and you want to get the second part of the video clip and make sure you place it right when the uh, little section of the video clip ends and we're going to go ahead and go into our masking uh, window. So open up your event pan crop and select the masking option. And we're going to go ahead and uh, mask out a diagonal section of the video. So make a point. And once you make a point, you want to go ahead and go into your position and make sure both the Y and X are zero and make another point uh, around this general area right on this corner and since the length of the resolution we're using is 1280 by 720 for the X value we want to set it to 1280 and the Y to 0 and for the last points we're going to uh, make another point on the bottom right hand corner and the, now this time the Y value is 720 and we're gonna go ahead and close the mask and you don't need any uh, feather or path uh, options because this mask is uh, pretty accurate next we're gonna go ahead and select our video clip and hold control and drag it above and I'll create a duplicate copy of our video clip and with the enable snapping option checked we're going to go ahead and select our normal edit tool right click on the top right hand corner uh, point right click on it deselect and anchor so that you can move this point freely without having to uh, move or alter any of the other two points and once you move it around you're going to move it towards the opposite corner so if you do those two steps right, you're going to get a full video and since the mask is pretty accurate, you're not going to see any empty sections of the video. Now for the actual animation, we're going to go ahead and uh, open up our event pan crop for any of the ones. And you want to select the top keyframe to go back to the event pan crop window. And since we masked out the bottom section of this video, we're going to go ahead and move it, move this box in the opposite direction. And 
for your first video clip, which is right here, you want to see where it ends and go to that section in the timeline, place your cursor, and open up your video clip again. And with your scene cursor option selected, again, click on the area of where the first video clip ends just for uh, extra reference the cursor on this crop window is going to be uh, in the same general area as well so while still in the event pan crop window you see your box is all the way in the top corner you want to go ahead and right click and hit restore so when we preview this this is going to come in to place and you want to do the exact same thing for the other one uh, go to the first keyframe and since this is in the top section you want to get this box and drag it to the bottom and we're going to go ahead and go forward and go to the part where the first video clip ends and we're going to go ahead and right click and hit restore so those two boxes are going to come into place and there you go. Now for the extra effect we're going to add some linear blur to it. So go ahead and go into your video effects and go into linear blur and since the two sections of the video clip are coming in at an angle we want to use the 45 degrees preset so drop those two on the two bottom clips right here and we're going to animate it so that the blur doesn't affect the two sections for the entire time because we want it to have the blur while it's coming in and once the transition is done uh, we want the uh, blur to fade away so click on the event FX and click the area of where the first video clip ends and we're going to hit the stopwatch icon on the amount and this is the animation button and your cursor should be around the same general area of where your first video clip is going to end you want to go ahead and make a keyframe just by hitting this plus button and go away all the way to the end of the timeline on this window and drag the amount down to zero. See here? And the effect is going to fade away. So do the same thing as well for the other uh, section. And make sure the second video clip you're transitioning to is starting right when the effect is over. And for the end result, it should look something like this. And that's how you do the simple slide transi transition. I hope you guys liked this tutorial. Again, if it helps you, please give the video a like. And if you can, comment on it. Uh, if you want, you can add me on Twitter at Alex20Productions. I'll put a link to it in the description. So I'll see you guys next time.